this journey in my thinking and over the four years together with three other authors. I got into EM in 1994 with Dr. Higa was in Singapore and uh, I got his card and from there on I communicated and I wanted to visit the International Nature Farming Center. Of course I did not stop there, I went to visit Dr. Higa and even for a brief uh, 10 minute period we had a nice meeting and he led me to visit Thailand, quite a bit of Japan, Brazil, and the USA. And all because I doubted EM. <laughs> I did doubt EM really because uh, it uh, didn't fit into the conventional picture. And I was a conventional sort of thinker. But I said, anything that works, let's just uh, uh, look at it. And I began my first uh, applications. And of course, uh, I had quite a surprise. So then we began to do some research. But our research uh, are normally in agriculture, not in environment. So we did work in some uh, crops. And I'd like to tell you that my work has been on bananas. And that's why I'm bringing my banana here. There was a Japanese population, 3 million I believe, in Brazil. And we knew the literature. They could read the Japanese literature. We could not, so we did not know what was happening. But from there, I said, maybe it does not work uh, with us because this is... Uh, Japanese group and uh, maybe it doesn't work in the Latin American perspective. <laughs> <laughs> but we went ahead and before we knew it, Dr. Higa has, we've invited him now to come to Costa Rica, to come to Colombia, to come to Ecuador and in these places we've had very good success and all because Earth University has graduates from these different countries. So you can see the different countries which are now uh, using in Latin America the EM technology. And we've gone around in seminars. Normally we have field seminars in Ecuador, in Colombia, in Costa Rica. We have some uh, field projects that are successful and then we bring Dr. Higa there and then we hold the seminar and that's how we promote EM. <laughs>